Hi, Rick Gideon here, the Watchman of Ephraim. Now, this video is an update, Damascus Oracle update, Donald Trump Cyrus the Great update. That's the false prophecy that Orthodox Christianity has tried to push on you for the most part, that Donald Trump is a type of Cyrus the Great that's going to save America. Save America from what Obama and the Democrats did, which under Obama doubled the deficit to $20 trillion. It's a number that you probably would never be able to attain to and get rid of. We're too far gone. This guy here, as we'll touch on, he's spending and Congress is spending, they're spending like drunken sailors. It's like it's their last day on earth. So how's Cyrus the Great doing here? Things are great, huh? Good times. Economy's good. And it's all, for the most part, it's all fake. It's being run by deficit spending, out of control spending, fake money being pumped into the stock market since 2008. He hasn't changed since Obama. He criticized them for letting the stock market and the Fed keep interest rates at almost nothing. This guy's been probably even worse than Obama. When the stock market dove in December, he just started... He started ragging on the Fed to lower interest rates. Well, what the world central bankers did, they started pumping money back into the markets to prop up the markets. So let's, so this is the Cyrus the Great Damascus Oracle update. Let's just put it that way. So what's, what's our clues here concerning our nation? This is obviously the Twin Towers. This is the picture of American economic might, 9-11. This is in Bible prophecy. This is in the book of Isaiah. Once again, just to review here. Yahweh has sent a word against Jacob, and it has fallen on Israel. All the people will know Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria. The United States, we are the great... We are the, the multitude of nations. We are Ephraim. The multitude of nations in the latter days, prophesied in the latter days. Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria who say in pride and arrogance of heart, the bricks have fallen down, but we will rebuild them with hewn stone. The towers, the World Trade Center, their foundations were built with bricks. The new World Trade Center was built with hewn stone out of the Adirondack Mountains. The sycamores are cut down. A sycamore died on the premises and it was replaced with a cedar. This is, this is figurative language here. Although our economy has been thrown down, we're going to rebuild. This has been thrown down. We're going to rebuild with this, that. Auto industry is gone. You know, we're going to rebuild with our oil industry. Well, God says you're arrogant. Actually, God says, I am the one that causes you to get wealth. These, what you have today is none other than from the birthright blessings. So that's 9-11 there. Uh, let me go on here. Here, here, we, here we go. Okay, so what's next up? The blood red moon showed up 2014 and 15. This completed 70 years that the United States or Ephraim, if I could pull... Pull it up here, I guess, if you, any new viewers. I mean, you should know. Uh, map. 
of USA. I mean, but there's a lot of people in school that can't pick our country out on a map. That's how stupid we were becoming. There's the multitude of nations, the assembly of nations. We inherited the earth in, after World War II, 1945. This was a shadow of the Messiah inheriting the earth. The Messiah is Ephraim, shadows and types in Torah, in the Old Testament. We inherited the earth. Well, 70 years is up, judgment, so 2014-15, these moons showed up warning us that change is coming. Blood moons, war, war is coming. Not only that, but economic collapse first. This is in my work, research, whatever, this concerning Ephraim. These are signs, oath, that God has been sending us. We haven't heeded. We haven't considered. We don't know who we are. We lost our identity. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. It's hidden from the nation and the world. We think we're goyim. We think we're Gentiles. We are not. So this is the eclipse beginning in 2017. This is the mark of the blessing that Jacob Israel gave to the two sons of Joseph, the crossing of the arms. Most likely, the 2017 was a warning of economic collapse. He's going to roll back that blessing, birthright blessing. What comes after economic prosperity, military might. He told Abraham, I am your shield and your exceeding reward. We have the names Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel name, specifically on the United States, the multitude of nations in Britain, the great people, Manasseh. We were given the promise of military might from God Almighty. After 2024, military probably almost, you know, devastated because we can't afford it. That will be rolled back, and the sword will then go through the land. That's also promised in the blessings, Leviticus 26. They wouldn't allow the sword to go through the land. Once the economy is gone, military is gone, the sword will indeed go through the land, one-third dying by fire, one-third a sword will be drawn out after them, and another third... They will scale or another uh, one third killed by the sword, and then another third, the sword will be drawn out, and they will be scattered into the wind, into the four winds of heaven, captivity. And out of that one turn, one tenth will return to the land of Israel. So getting here into I posted some articles on Facebook. Let's start with this one. King Cyrus. Come on, start loading. There we go. Trump struggles to defend his record amid setbacks on immigration, trade, and North Korea. These, are, these articles are all from the Drudge Report. Drudge, conservative, he loves Trump. Man, I never saw so many negative articles on Trump. Real quick, Tr President Donald Trump proclaimed in a freewheeling speech to a conference of conservatives last weekend that America is winning again, but his administration has been on a pronounced losing streak over the past week. Trump is losing ground on top priorities to curb illegal immigration, cut the trade deficit, and blunt North Korea's nuclear threat setbacks that complicate his planned re-election message as a can-do president who is making historic progress. So let's just touch a couple of, I'll show you some headlines on a few articles, what we just touched here. I don't think we're going to have, by 2000, the election, 
I don't see this economy still. We're just trillions and trillions in debt. I mean, they're hiding inflation, shrinking your food. I bought a chicken from from Sam's Club yesterday. My wife did. It was one. It looked like one third of it. It looked shrunk by one third. They're shrinking your food because they're hiding the the inflation from all the money they continue to print. All right. It's concerning this prophecy by many prominent Orthodox Christian prophets. Jeremiah 23, 13. This is a direct prophecy from God, Almighty God, to our Orthodox prophets in these latter days. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. It's another term for Ephraim or the northern tribes. Ephraim was the lead tribe of the ten northern tribes that were taken into captivity in 721 B.C., reassembled in the latter days, United States, Britain, Australia, Canada, Northwestern Europe. They, I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal and caused my people, Israel, to err. Let me this went off somewhere. Oh, well, let me just let me just get out of this. Eliminate some of these windows. So let me we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Too many windows up top here. Maybe I maybe I did away with a picture of Trump and Cyrus. Okay, anyways, let's go back to these um, these few articles here. How about this one? US Post record annual trade deficit. Trump with these tariffs are supposed to be is supposed to be reducing our trade deficit. US Post record annual trade deficit. The shortfall grew last year despite President Trump's aim to reduce it. How about that for the King Cyrus prophecy? The US trade deficit in goods hit a record in 2018, defying President Trump's efforts to narrow the gap as imports jumped and some exports, including soybeans and other farm products, got hammered by retaliation against U.S. trade policies. Well, what does Deuteronomy 28.28 say? It says, Is he's going to stir up the nations against against the United States? I will make you troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay. So it's backfiring. Remember the prophecy uh, I showed you in Isaiah. Chapter 9, the bricks have fallen down. We're going to rebuild with hewn stone. Okay. So we have a record trade deficit here. The deficits of good in goods grew 10% last year to 891 billion point. $91.3 billion, the widest on record, according to the Commerce Department data released Wednesday. U.S. trade gaps with China and Mexico, already the nation's largest, reached new records. How about that for King Cyrus? How about that for our country? If we didn't have the world reserve currency, we'd be toast. The economy's fake. So let's get out of that one.
I'm just showing you briefly what's going on. U.S. trade gap jumps to 10-year high record gap with China. Hear how Trump's going to level the playing field with China. Come on. Well, drawing a blank here. Anyways. Yep. Don't know what happened to that one. Well, anyways, you see it. Trade gap with China jumps to jumps to 10-year high. How about that for King Cyrus? Not doing very good. Oh, you know what? My internet is it's showing my internet is out. So I'm just going to go ahead. It may come back. Oh, you know what? It just kicked in here. Kicked back on. So U.S. trade gap jumped to 10-year high. Record gap. Okay. How about this one? U.S. budget deficit widens 77%. Wow. Let's see if this thing uh, comes up. You know, it may not. Okay. U.S. budget deficit widens 77%. The U.S. budget deficit widened to $310 billion in the first four months of the fiscal year. The, what, what's the nation's biggest employer? The government. Underscoring the revenue hit from Republican tax cuts and an increase in government spending. Cut taxes and we increase government spending. Well, the budget deficit's going up. It's not going down. Cursed you will be when you come in. Cursed you will be when you go out. It's not working. Okay. Receipts fell by 2% to $1.1 trillion while spending rose 9% to $1.4 trillion. The budget received a bump in customs duties, which almost doubled to about $25 billion, reflecting the Trump administration's tariffs on Chinese imports, steel, and other goods. The financial shortfall is set to widen further in the coming years as the Republican tax cut package, which costs about $1.5 trillion. This is on the rich mostly. Over a decade, an increased spending defense on, for defense and other priorities boosts government outlays. Some policymakers and economists are flagging, are flagging concern about the growing debt burdens, saying it risks America's credit quality among borrow, borrow, borrowers, while other economists see more room to run. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't... Tax receipt, receipts fell for both corporate and individuals, the Treasury data showed. How about that? How about that for King Cyrus? The King Cyrus prophecy. Folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal. By the way, Orthodox Christianity is none other than the Babylonian mystery religion cloaked in Christianity. Okay, what about what about illegal immigration? Right? Let's flip it up. Okay. These are all signs of the end of an empire. One of them is you know, deficit spending, Rome. Spending like drunk like it's your last day on earth. Three times three times illegal immigration of 2017 levels at current rate. Another one is being flooded by foreigners. And may shed a few subscribers to our south lies another group of people that do not know their identity. They are prophesied to overrun us in the last days. Part of this King of the North, 
eighth beast of Revelation 17, 11, Roman Catholic Church nations, this harlot that sits on many waters, is none other than the descendants of Esau. Sorry if you get offended. This is not about race. If you're one of God's elect, there's neither Jew, Gentile, slave nor free, male nor female. You can call me an Edomite if you want. I don't care. This is about the destruction of a wicked, rebellious nation. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. It's just the way it is. The United States is going to be punished. Three times the illegal immigration of 2017 levels at current rate. Illegal immigration this year is on pace to more than triple levels of just two years ago. New projections reveal. In the month of February, there were more than 76,000 illegal border... border boy, let me just slow down here. Illegal border crossings and inadmissible foreign nationals, the most in this month in 12 years. A record for President Trump's administration. Do you get it? It's getting worse, not better. Okay. So much for the uh, immigration thing. Okay. How about this one here? Continuing immigration. Again, this is not about racial superiority. This country, the, the reason why it became great was because of the promise and the oath to Abraham that his descendants would, would inherit the earth, basically. Abraham had to inherit the world. He had to be the heir of the world, as it says in Romans 4. You're just simply seeing the power of your heavenly father at work here which unfortunately most people deny and blaspheme. <laughs> Boy, he's not going to spare in the day of judgment, that's for sure. So this headline here, new awful data. Da right, let me slow down. New awful data shows that the border invasion is worse than ever. If Trump had not signed the disastrous budget bill several weeks ago and we were still operating on a short-term CR with immigration remaining the top issue, today's news could have been strengthened. Trump's leverage, according to CBC's preliminary figures obtained by the Washington Post, 76,325 illegal aliens were apprehended at the border in February more than any other month in over a decade since the decline of migration from Mexico. Can you imagine what's going to happen when the world economy collapses? They're going to come over in mass. What does it say in Ezekiel 35.10? These two nations and these two countries I'm going to take from my possession. Talking about the house of Israel, Ephraim, and Judah. Ishmael, Turkey, Timon, descendants of Esau. We're going to get it. Okay? How about that? That's the prophecy of King Cyrus there, huh? And, of course, we have the political news going here. Let me just go down here. Okay. This, I posted this about four or five days ago. Trump's, he turns on a dime. He's impulsive. Trump says he agrees 100% with keeping U.S. troops in Syria. 
Two months ago, after saying all U.S. troops are leaving Syria, the president wrote members to con of Congress that he agrees with keeping US, a U.S. presence in Syria. Now, this guy is in deep political trouble. Benjamin Netanyahu is in deep political trouble for bribery charges. He got indicted a few days ago for bribery charges. What might these two guys do? These two brothers, if their political fortunes continue to take a dive, will President Trump risk war to save his presidency? Will he wag the dog? In the nation, most likely he would wag the dog. Uh, to go to war with, to create a diversion, Iran. More and more people are looking at this. I've been looking at it. You know, we're talking Damascus Oracle here. Uh, one more, one or two more things and we'll wrap it up here. Let me get this, uh, go to Google here. That's just Iran Trump news. These are the kind of articles you're starting to see. Iran Trump news. John Bolton is trying to steer Trump and the U.S. into another Mideast war. Don't let him. How about at the top here? This just come in. Ex-Trump campaign chief Paul Manafort will spend nearly four years in prison for bank tax crimes. So it continues. Okay. This is EU Trump news. So we're looking with me. Keep an eye. Just keep an eye out. Let's just look at these headlines for Europe. Trump EU news. Trump car tariffs would hurt global growth. EU's Maelstrom warns. Whoever says EU won't be blackmailed by Trump. This is our allies, right? NATO. Can Europe be protected from Trump's trade war? So there's this big car tariff. And who's the biggest car producer in Europe? Biggest exporter into the United States? Germany. U.S. and EU are headed for a food fight over trade. Can Europe be protected from Trump's trade war? A Trump trade war with Europe would hurt the transatlantic relationship. Look at these headlines. These are our closest buddies. Trump dealt, we just read that one. U.S. trade deficit drops. EU says it will react swiftly if Trump hits it with car tariffs. You see what's going on here. I will make you troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth. So far, King Cyrus looks like he's going down the commode. It's not working. What did God say? If you don't keep my commandments and walk in my ways. Deuteronomy 28. Cursed you will be when you come in and cursed you will be when you go out. We're in the curses. Okay, so that's an update. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening.